He has faced street protests, was stabbed at a rally, and has spurred controversy with provocative statements. O nosso país realmente está à beira do caos. Não podemos dar mais um passo à esquerda. Yet Jair Bolsonaro took the lead in the first round of Brazil's presidential election, securing nearly half of the total votes. Far ahead of his rivals, but just shy of the majority he needed to win outright. So who is Brazil's leading presidential candidate? Bolsonaro comes from Sao Paulo, one of Brazil's richest states. He was a paratrooper and captain in the army. Even though he presents himself as an outsider, the father of five has been a congressman for 27 years. Although he has proudly stated that he knows nothing about economics, he is promising with his team to fix a country that's in deep crisis, both politically and economically. His answer to Brazil's woes? Establishing order by cracking down on criminals, inside Congress and on the streets. He has promoted himself as a clean alternative to the leftist Workers' Party, the once powerful party represented by Fernando Haddad in this election has been hit by corruption scandals that have sent former President Lula da Silva to jail. Bolsonaro has promised to fight gangs, loosening gun laws for self-defense and allowing police to kill suspected criminals. But his hardline comments have alienated much of the electorate especially when the 63-year-old defended Brazil's past dictatorship. He also defended torture and made offensive comments about women and gay people. In a battle that's seen as a struggle between freedom and order, Bolsonaro and second-place finisher Haddad now have three weeks to attract voters from the ousted centrist parties. But Bolsonaro's front-runner status heading into the second round is seen as another victory for the right-wing populism that has swept the globe in recent years.